I'm Katie from AAAE, and welcome to this episode of Airport Stuff You Should Know. Today we're covering old school operational aids. Even with advancements in technology over the past 100 years of flight, airports are still required to maintain wind cones and other simple navigational aids. Wind direction indicators are still necessary because they provide pilots a quick visual indication of wind direction. This is important during critical phases of landing and takeoff operations when the pilot flying the aircraft is usually focused on what is happening outside of the aircraft. There are two standard sizes of wind cones allowed at airports. Size one wind cones are eight feet long with an 18 inch throw opening, while size two wind cones are 12 feet long with a 36 inch throw opening. The taper of the fabric of the windsock from the throat to the tailing end must be designed to allow the windsock to fully extend when it is exposed to a wind of 15 knots, which is 17 miles per hour. Each wind cone must move freely about the vertical shaft to which it is attached when subjected to wind of three knots or greater and must be capable of indicating the true wind direction within plus or minus five degrees. You may see a windsock at an airport and think it's just a decoration. However, it's important to navigation and is highly regulated. Another basic but important navigational aid is the lighted beacon. These beacons have been in use since the 1920s in order to help pilots identify an airport's location from the air. A system of beacons was first constructed by the Post Office and the Department of Commerce in order to help pilots deliver mail. Rotating beacons help identify lighted land airports using alternating white and green flashes at night or in inclement weather. A properly working rotating beacon is very important to safe airport operations. It must be emitting the correct color flashes and turning at the appropriate rate, 11 to 13 revolutions per minute or 22 to 26 flashes per minute. Beacons may emit different colors to indicate whether an airport is land or water, a navigational aid, heliport, or military base. There's much more to cover about the various lighting and navigational aids. Visit triple to learn about our programs.